In this video, I share with you the difference between a business procedure and a business process and whether you need them in your small business or not, which are the cases in, in which it is important that you have a business process and a business procedure. Hi, I'm Linnea. I help female entrepreneurs streamline their businesses so that they can get more time for what really matters. If you're interested in that, you will find more information in the description below. I got this question recently during a coaching call and I couldn't really answer it. I've been working with developing processes and procedures and guidelines and tools all of my life, but I couldn't answer this question. I was like, yeah, processes are definitely a high level, procedures on a lower level, like more detailed, um, but so I had to look up the definition. So the ISO definition of a, pro of a process is that it's a set of interrelated or interacting activities which transforms inputs into outputs. So it's about the what, what we are doing on a very high level. Whilst the definition of a procedure is a specified way to uh, carry out an activity or a process. So it's really about how do we do it, the specified way that we do things around here. When we talk about business processes and business procedures, often business policies are also mentioned and those are on an even higher level. So policies are general rules about how we want to make, how we do things in our business. By the way, if you want to become really productive, make sure that you download my free guide. Uh, you will find the link in the description below. So do you need to have business processes and business procedures? I would say if we start from the business procedures, if you have a small business and you want to delegate part of the work, definitely. So if you're just starting up, you will want to delegate, you know, admin tasks or tasks that are really easy to perform. And in that case, write down a procedure. So write down like an instruction on how it is you want it to be done that will really simplify uh, the interaction with, uh, with whoever you delegate to. So the more detailed it is, the more um, independently this person will be able to work. But when it comes to you know, bigger companies, procedures, uh, and especially for knowledge workers or you know, white collar people that, um, that really have, a <laughs> that can find out themselves how to do the work, um, it's not that needed. I mean, it's um, we want to leave up to each each coworker to find out the best ways to perform something, unless it is something, you know, really um, important way where you might have a lot of legal requirements, or it's it's super important that it's done in the right way, and there's not much space for kind of free freedom um, to find out new day, ways to perform a specific task. When it comes to processes, here I would say that it's needed, especially if you have a bigger company. Um, it is, it's about the what we do. So probably you're already kind of following a process. If you are developing a service, for example, you know that in the beginning you will have to kind of identify the need and do some market research and then you will, you will start developing it. You will check it with users and in the end you will, you will kind of release a beta version, version of it or something. Um, so those are kind of natural steps. It's good, of course, that you write it down the bigger your company is, the more important it really becomes to have a business process or several business processes for different parts of your business. To recap, a business process is what we do and a business procedure is how we do things. Let me know in the comments if you are using a business process in your small, small business. I would love to hear that. I would love to know because I really don't know how much business processes are used in small businesses. I believe business procedures are really common, but not the processes. But let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do that and leave your comments and like and subscribe and have a great day.